This vid clip shows you how to answer a typical examination question that requires you to construct a ray diagram. The diagram is of a convex mirror. The principal axis, mirror symbol, principal focus and centre of curvature of the mirror are already on the diagram. First, we will draw the centre of curvature ray, the one that is undeviated. Position your ruler so that it is on the centre of curvature point and the tip of the object. Draw a solid line from the mirror to the eye and a dashed construction line from the centre of curvature to the mirror. Remember, there should never be a solid line behind the mirror. Rays reflect from a mirror, they cannot pass through it. Don't forget your arrows. Each section of the ray needs an arrow. In this case, the reflected ray follows the same path as the incident ray, so you need an arrow pointing both ways. Next, we have to draw the ray that travels parallel to the principal axis. That will reflect as if it came from the principal focus. I have cleared the other ray so that you can see the diagram more clearly. First of all, draw a horizontal solid line from the tip of the object arrow to the mirror. Now position your ruler so that it is on the focal point and at the point where your first line hits the mirror. Draw a solid line from the mirror to the eye and a dashed construction line from the principal focus to the mirror. Again, remember that there should never be a solid line behind the mirror. Rays reflect from a mirror. They cannot pass through it. A real image is formed where the rays cross. In this case, they do not cross, but continue to travel further apart. Therefore, we have to look for a point where the dashed construction lines cross instead. This point is going to be the tip of the image arrow. As the image is formed where dashed lines meet, we draw the image arrow as dashed lines. It is a virtual image. It is upright and diminished, that means smaller than the object, and it is formed behind the mirror. I hope you found that useful.